So hello everyone, this is chapter 14, Rujika, Rujika Vectors. We will talk, uh, this chapter was, uh, uh, I think it was before called Vector in, uh, in its first edition of the book. And they split, uh, the authors split it into multiple, <clears throat> excuse me, multiple uh, chapters. And I think of vectors as uh, just data types, list of data types of the same, um, yeah, yeah, just a list of the same data type. And uh, the logical one, which uh, we'll talk more about it, but let's go into the learning objective first. Um, so first learning objective, what, is, what are vectors and why, uh, why we should talk about it, uh, talking about them. And second, how, how to use a vector and Boolean algebra in comparison, identifying missing values and other stuff. Um, so this is one of the main objectives. Uh, third objective, which is uh, what are the logical summaries function we could leverage in R and how we could use uh, conditional transformation using uh, if else function and case when function. Um, so yeah, this is this is our main objective today for today's session, and let's dive in. Um, so yeah, what is the logical vector? Basically, as I said, physical uh, logical vectors <coughs> are the same that as arrays in C, which are used to hold multiple values, multiple data values as of the same time, and um, you can think of it as um, uh, of course, the logical one, because we have multiple data types um, in R. So the, the one that we are talking about here is the logical vectors. There is our numeric vectors and um, I think character vectors, something like that. But we here specifically talking about the logical one because it's very useful in, to use in analytics uh, or, or your analysis. Um, and here, we, here I'm talking about the mental model, which we'll talk about a little bit, the mental model of using the logical vectors. This is all stuff I don't see in the, in the book itself, but I, I found it very interesting to talk to just talk about them. Um, so the mental model I'm talking about is thinking of uh, a use case or a question to answer with, or with a binary answer. So it's, a, it's, it's even a yes or no question. So you have a you have a question if, if you are for example uh, th does this person married or not uh, so it's true or false and uh, creating some construct or uh, just building blocks to build the question that construct of multiple logical uh, construct is what really make a complex analysis. And that's why if you think about uh, creating constraints when you design your analysis, uh, creating constraints or uh, creating questions that their answer is yes or no question, it's very it's very powerful because you are you also put uh, like turn those uh, um, true or false uh, columns into some kind of numeric values by just uh, aggregating them or um, doing some some kind of summaries to them. So it's, it, it's very powerful to think about constraints, how to answer question, binary questions, how uh, and what is the role of logical vector here. So when we talk about the logical vector, I will explain more. So uh, logical vector is basically a Boolean, just Boolean uh, values that, um, uh, that it, our, or I call it Boolean expression that uh, really go into, let's see uh, the notation, if it's the notation is working here. Let's see. Is this working? Yeah, it's working. Okay, how I, Okay, this, this one is good. I didn't try it before. So, where is the, and then, I don't see. I cannot hear you, Ahmad. Is it me? Yeah, or? I, I don't see the, the band, so I, I just thought. <laughs> okay. 
I was just searching for the band. So, um, yeah, uh, as I as was I saying, uh, it's Boolean expression, which is which means that um, it's some kind of uh, like a Boolean value is is a true or false. So it's we're having a true a true value or false value. Uh, that's that is the Boolean uh, value, but the logical vector is is multiple. Um, multiple expression that you can see you can you could see it when we talk about the Boolean algebra afterward but uh, the main idea of logical vectors is uh, to have a condition with a result of true or false at the end so yeah let's let's continue our uh, the uh, discussion here um, let's go to doesn't work okay so how to use logical vectors and boolean algebra so as you see here in the in the this venn diagram we have um let's see if i can break this one yeah we have here um an expressions multiple expression which is boolean x is boolean and y is boolean and we try to have some kind of relation express express a relation between uh, these two boolean values and let's see if yeah what's this what's one okay so for example this uh, let's see for example this this expression um if we see this uh, as x and not y so we are seeing that x is uh, is shaded here and uh, uh, the end expression of course means that if x uh, it's a boolean it's, it's a boolean table that like uh, uh, like true true and true true and true is true true and false is false so it, it both have to be true to for for an end uh, expression to, to become to to, re, to result in true uh, if any one of them are false, then um, the the result is false. Uh, for for this is the end. Uh, of course, this is the uh, we're not talking about the the not here, but we're talking about the end. Where is the end? Yeah, this one and this one. Uh, so the end is just true. True and true is equal to true or false is equal to false. Um, and it both have to be true to, uh, or both have to be um, like any, like that both have, one of them have to be uh, true, like. Um, so the, the here, uh, if we talk about the, 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 the or, so this is or, this is the value of or, the Venn diagram shows if any one of them is true, is becoming uh, true. So, and, it's very interesting if you if you see this any I said any, and there is a summary. We'll talk about the summary function called any, and any one of them, which is logical, uh, any one of them is if if it, if it's true, then the result is true. So if if x is true, and the y is true, uh, okay, it's false. For example, false then true or false is um, true or false is, uh, uh, is true. So if it's just have one of them have to be true to, to, to for the expression to be true. Uh, here both have to be true in, in the end. I said, I think I, I reverse it when I, when I talked about the end, but yeah, the both have to be true for the expression to become true. Um, so yeah, so this and true or uh, true and false it becomes uh, false. It has to be became the, the two expression have to be true. And oh, so the the this is the the boolean. Um, this is a Venn diagram. So the Venn diagram is becoming become more. Um, on dice when the expressions when when you talk when you see the um, 
the evaluation of the expression. For example, here, y, not y, mean, meaning the, the, neg the negation of y. So we just construct a condition uh, of based on Boolean algebra, which is, which is this. This is a Boolean algebra, by the way. Um, um, so, and this is a Venn diagram to show the relation between the two variable or, or the resultant uh, of, uh, of those, those expression. Um, so yeah, this is the, this is the idea of constructing logical vectors uh, and, uh, and its relation to Boolean algebra. It's just the logical vector is just the Boolean algebra of, uh, of two, two variable or two Boolean values that construct it with a relation. Here, the relation is and, 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 of course, here is also, we have negation. Uh, XOR is a relation also, uh, or is, is, a, is a relation. So it's just describing the relation between two uh, Boolean values. And uh, the resultant is have to be true or false. So yeah, this is the main idea. Let's continue. Um, Okay. So, yeah, Venn diagrams describe the relation. Let's continue. So here we um, we use logical vectors and in two essential things, uh, as we said in the um, uh, in the objectives. Uh, comparison is one of the main things that we use logical uh, operation logical vectors in. And um, no, let's say the numeric comparison create logical vectors. And why uh, by, by numeric comparison, we mean that we comparing a number uh, to another number. And uh, the value of this, this comparison, like this one, it, we are here filtering out um, the, the, the department time, the departure time, uh, that bigger than six, 600 and uh, the bottom time that lists. So we have like some kind of criteria we try to specify here. This is a kind of logical vector. So here uh, filter, yeah, there is an intermediate execution step that forms a logical vector behind the scene when we use filter. So behind the scene filter uh, construct uh, like the value executed as follows, it's just Construct um, in order. Um, um, Ahmad. Yeah. Is um, which kind of I can see after filter? Which sign is this? Is it pipe? <laughs> yeah, this is pipe, but it just it just uh, like uh, it, it's a new pipe. So basically, if you ah, I didn't know it. Yeah, it's it just. Yeah, it's, oh, uh, okay. Uh, okay, no worries. <laughs> is, yeah, yeah, this is a new pipe, but it's uh, it shows like this. If you see the the source one, the source, um, you you'll see that uh, it's uh, in in the code. Yeah, yeah, it's it just it, it just shows that like this as a new pipe. It shows like this as a as a as an arrow. So yeah, it's uh, just. Uh, so oh, there are there are three ways to see the pipe right now then because I know two then this one is another one on top so three then yeah yeah and uh, just uh, this is uh, I, I just pasted it from the book and uh, they were using this uh, okay okay yeah. so okay. thank you no problem so it's hey we when I was talking about the intermediate execution step that's happening here. Um, so to this get evaluated first, and then this get evaluated second, uh, the order of execution based on uh, what, of course, we if, if we want to specify an order, we can use uh, parentheses like uh, this one. We're just giving, giving it a parentheses and say, uh, uh, for example, we want to do the department uh, time first. And uh, like six hundred, this this one and um, 
department time um, less than two of thousand. And we just give it a, a bracket and have a, another uh, operation. So it, we can specify the order if we want to specify the order, or if he will treat it as equal, we will, he will treat it as we write it. So it will go from the, from the left to right. Um, so it's it's it's, ten, it's it's our it's, it's our like um, it's our control. So it's we are we are who decide. And uh, so yeah, this is this is evaluated to true or false. Uh, the, the, if we don't specify the order, it will treat all of this as a, as a one expression. So it will evaluate and 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 at the same time. So all of this have to be uh, construct uh, uh, true. For the for the filter to be true, or to, for the filter to to work, and here is what what happening. Uh, it's just it just uh, we have criteria and we filter based on it. Um, so let's go into the second one too. So yeah, so to separate this intermediate step, we talked about the intermediate step, which is the execute the the vector. The the logical vector here is this one is the logical vector. This one is the logical vector. The relation between both of them are a logical vector also, because it's it values it value is true or false. So, um, the, this intermediate step, which is uh, this expression that evaluated behind the scene, we don't see it, but we just provide the the condition and it, it get evaluated by R. So uh, to separate this condition, we, because we, we as analysts or uh, data scientists, we want to have them separated in some kind of way. So we use mutate as usual. Uh, but at, at this time, we, we see uh, its value, because here we don't see their values. We see the result of the filter. Uh, here we see the values of, um, um, uh, of the uh, of, of um, of the expression of or the or the uh, logical vector, for example, here we we set it to, to be in the daytime. Uh, so we uh, that the same for the same condition like before, but we put it in the daytime uh, column, and we see the value of it. So here is the value of it false for false for some. Of course, it could be true for some. Um, so it's just got criteria, and we just separate separate uh, separate a column if it specifies certain condition or constraint or a question that we want to, want to we uh, we want to answer for it. Um, so yeah, and R yeah, this one is is not is unrelevant, but we could talk about it. Uh, R doesn't round by default the float numeric values. But our console is rounding close numbers to integer. Um, so the meaning of this is when we, for example, this expression, this x uh, equal uh, one over uh, forty nine, uh, like this expression, uh, it evaluated. Of course, this is uh, this is a double. If we run it, it becomes double. Let's see uh, to run or. It's, it's running. So yeah, this is a double. So any any number, if you uh, if you type even uh, one, it, it it will see it as uh, as this, like mult, uh, like like one with. Uh, yeah. So you see the other um, five I see here. Is it five as well? This one or what? What uh, this x equals to? Is it a pipe? No, it just it's not a pipe. This is equal. Uh, like ah, okay, okay, yeah, okay. okay so, is it like uh, the, the, the is the font is uh, s small or can no? It's alright. It's alright. You can continue. It's okay. Okay. So um, I oh, was so, so sorry. Sorry for interrupting, but I I, I think uh, like like. Uh, the previous sign you were seeing, I, I think it's just the way it is uh, displayed in our markdown that makes it look like uh, a different type of pipe that we, we have seen 
Yeah, yeah, it's the same. I, I said, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think you, you, you misunderstand. Uh, it's the same type. Like I can say, I can do it here, but mark the, the markdown, the R markdown is showing you it like this because I am in visual mode. Yeah, so, because because you know something was saying that it seems like this will make it three. So I just wanted to clarify that it's it's the same. It's not like another type it's just the ad markdown making it look like yeah, this. this is the one i i just pressing yeah. uh control I, yeah so it's yeah. just the normal pipe but uh the new one yeah here's the new one um and i uh, i figure i'll configure it to be the new one if i if i uh, if i press the like uh the uh, the buttons it will be automatically be the new one. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> so here we talk about the X. Oh yeah, and um, we talk. We are talking about uh, how R representing numbers. So R are storing number as a double, uh, even if it's integer. So um, we we could see if we like, um, for example, if we say here uh, X. Okay. Yeah, x equal. X equal one. Let's see. X point x. Yeah, point x. So let's. See. So it it will show us just one, but it. Uh, the console itself is rounding the, the value to one because there is just unlimited or not limit, not unlimited, but uh, it's a couple of zeros after the, the one that have no value. So it just, you just ditch it in and uh, round it to one. So he, you can see, we can see this here exactly if we, uh, uh, if we see the x itself, if this, uh, by the way, this uh, combined expression is uh, giving one and two, but it, it doesn't giving one and two because it's um, uh, it, it, it gives a double value or floating value. Uh, but we see here, it's uh, if we print it, the console it's, uh, the console is rounding it. To solve to see the real its real values, we have to to provide the brand function uh, digits to show and and make it make the console do, do not uh, round the values and we here we see the exact values which is 0 and 0.99999 it, it's like 69 and it could be like four, more than 16 but i think he uh, he shows here the 16 because the 4 is in on 16 um, so it's it's more than two with four by like um, by multiple digit in between, but it doesn't have value. So he just rounding rounding them. This is a, a, a common um, common way of our treating integer or treating numbers. Um, yeah, and to just overcome it or to 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 be more um, to use uh like to force r to be to round because she is not rounding the brand function here is just rounding the um the output that we see but in in the memory it's, it doesn't round it so just to configure everything when you're dealing with any type of number that could be double or could be float we tend to use this uh function deployer near and it will give us the um, uh, it will round it for sure in memory uh, in R. Um, so yeah, I, I can you could try it. It's just easy to you just ditch the, um, the X here and it will become one and two for real this time. Um, so yeah, this is the this is the deployer near function and how R are treating numbers uh, in memory. Um, yeah, do you have anyone have any question right now? Till now? No, I'm good. Okay. So, yeah, we talked more about here. Yeah, we can talk about the missing values. So, R having 
NA. So the logical vectors, uh, I said before, it's uh, it have three, it have two types, uh, or it have two values, because I said it's uh, just a Boolean. Uh, the logical vector is just a Boolean of a Boolean expression, which is have have some kind of uh, have values uh, of true or false. But in R, it have um, it doesn't it, it have a third type which is NA. NA is a logical value, a logical vector, and it con it it will like uh, like logical. If you see it here, we type the possible value for logical vector is true or false or um, or in a so those are the values that under logical vector which you could, you could talk about and they also try to to um, uh, like explain why L, why in a is uh, is type of uh, is type of um, of logical vector why is in why in a or how we could ex understand in a as uh, a boolean, uh, which is not a number or not a value. Uh, if if we translate it, it's not a value or not a number even. So how how to understand if uh, if it's not a value? Why it's contained or uh, belongs to the logical vector? So you see, uh, he said here. Um, Oh yeah, there is no indication whatsoever so, uh, about NA, about value, if it's logical vector. Although the author says uh, a missing value in a logical uh, in a logical vector means that a value could be either true or false. So this is uh, the NA uh, just describe the, poss the possibility of being true or false. So, it, it, so it, when we try to um, have a logical exp expression, <clears throat> for example, here, true or uh, true or true and true and false or true are both true. So this is this is the all we we talked about before. Um, so true and and uh, or true, any one of them is true. Both they're both is true. So the expression is true here, and false or true, one of them is true. So it's it's, it's true here. The the result. So both both of them are true. Uh, so NA or true must also be true. So why? Because if if NA is described the the possibility of the uh, of uh, of becoming uh, of became false or true like this one. Uh, let's see. Okay, like this. So if we replace NA with false, it became true. If you, if you replace uh, in a with true become true also so it's so anyone any way like uh, the in a or true any type of it like if it if it false if it, if it true it's also true so it's just just uh, what what he say that's how explain how explain the in a as a part of logical vectors uh, values um, so yeah, this is the reasoning, and at the say the same as with and. If you just know that in a is uh, the possibility of being true or false, uh, you are good. So you can continue. Um, yeah, let's see this. Let's see. Okay. So let's run this and see. Uh, here we yeah here we we having combined values of true, false, and a. The there are all all of them are just logical vectors values. Uh, we put it in the uh, we did a mutate to see. Okay, so we have like uh, an error here. Don't know why couldn't. I think because we I don't run the, this one. So until it run it runs. Um, Let's go into the, yeah. Great. Okay, this is the, this is the value. So let's, let's here. Okay, come on, yeah. So this is the, this is the, um, the result. 
So we show here the the, the relation and how null are, are evaluated. So as we said in the example B, the above, uh, true, and here of, of course you see this uh, this tag that shows the type. It's logical vectors. This is the the type of logical vector. Um, just to, to recognize it, and uh, if you see that x is true. And um, if we said and uh, and in a, uh, it became it became an a because uh, and and here is is, is like um, it it both have to be true. So since the x is true, it's uh, where is that? Since a, the x is true. Um, so yeah, yeah. The, if since the x is true, uh, the result is. I don't get it. How? how um, so let, let, let me think for it. I, I just lost my thought. Mm. Yeah. So I think it goes just goes back to the 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 the, the, the previous point you 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 explained. You know. Yeah, yeah. It goes back, but I don't know why it's no. It's NA. So NA is the possibility of being true or false. So if you if you said true or n what uh, what the question what the value of true uh, of x and n a and x here is true at first glance uh, this is uh, yeah because mm -hmm. from that point you know the, the fact that we we know uh, true or true or false or true will be true and the same logic um, um, like also any or true must also be true. So we, we just use that same reasoning. So any or false must also be like 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 false, something like this. Yeah, yeah, it's the same, but um, how, wh why we are providing an A instead of uh, the value? Uh, is it like, because we, we just describing, it, it could be both, right? Um, no. I, didn't, I, don't, I don't get your... Uh, I said if it, it could be both, it could be true or false. So that's why uh, we don't have a value. For example, here x, x and uh, x and a, x and na is yeah. uh, here is is na, which like true x here is true. So true and na. Um, true and na should be true. Yeah, should be true. But here it it he, he said na. Um, that's why I confused. Um, so I think that it means the, pos the possibility uh, of being true or false, but I don't get it. If we, if we, if we talked about the, the as previously, we talked about if we true uh, na and false, it became yeah, it became false. So, yeah. So I think what I get from this, you know, the conditions he said. Well, uh, basically for uh, an, an, or like or, which applied to the first two rows. So the third row, basically we didn't have any condition to evaluate it. Yeah, but we here we are in the first row, right? We yeah, are, the we, first row. So it's true, um, it's true and NA. That is true. Yeah, it's true. Oh, it's false and any it should be. It should it should be true. So I don't. No, no, get... it's, it's 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 still false. It's still um, any because this false is an any, you know. This false is any. Yeah, like... if you go back to the C vector, you will see. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what that's it. Yeah yeah, I I got you. That I I I understand this one. Yeah. 
um, so yeah, let's continue because uh, of the time. Um, yeah, for I, he said here to identify uh, NA, we, is NA is a function. We, we use this already, for, so it's, it's not a new information, but uh, it, it uh, um, yeah, function which works with any type of vector that return true for missing values and false for everything else. So if we give it like a combination between true and a false, it, the, the true is become false, it's false, it becomes false, and NA is true. So any NA returns true. So uh, yeah, we could use this in uh, quantifying uh, missing values or, and uh, know where, where is the missing value exactly. And it returns just the value, uh, the logical vector of um, um, of exist is, is is the missing value exist or not in a certain uh, cell. So yeah, this NA. Um, oh yeah, here we have uh, another. Don't know if you talked about this before. It's it's an in operator. Um, I call it like. Uh, I call it in, it's like the in, in Python, you have in operator in Python also. Um, it's like asking, does a set A of values is included in a set B? So uh, for example, here we have uh, a number from uh, one to 20 to, to 12. Is it, uh, is each number of those are in, um, uh, in the combination of one, five, and uh, 11? Any one of those, so we the one exists, so this is true. The others doesn't exist. The five exists, so here is true. The um, the eleven exists here is true for the eleven. So yeah, it just it it just we just uh, check if uh, a set is exist in a set. That's uh, that's the main idea. Um, yeah, and it's very useful if you use it like combi combine both like in and NA in your analysis to, to see if it's uh, if a subset. I think we will we'll go into subsetting or and sub uh, subsetting uh, in other chapters. But uh, he don't he didn't mention here. But he said uh, he will he will discuss it in uh, in a separate chapter um, how we could like have a group and a group of a group and kind of this kind of stuff so yeah um yeah let's move on to the third point i think yeah third what are the logical summary function we could leverage in r so r have like two um have main uh, logical summaries like any and all have numeric logical summaries like mean and sum um basically like um I, I see this, any aggregated function, I see it as this. I'll talk about any and all, um, but let's, let's stick with the numeric logical summaries because this is the one. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. Um, this main logical summary, what do they mean by main? Like um, mean, any mean. The mean, yeah, the mean, uh, just the mean, the average. Okay. Just the function, the normal function. Just no, normal. no. No, here they say main logical summaries, any and all. Why? Are they yeah, yeah, them? main. Yeah, yeah, main, which means like uh, the, 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 essen the essential one, the, the, the most important one. This is uh, what they uh, mean. Okay. So, yeah, it's, uh, um, but yeah, it, it, the book said uh, it can be very messy if you use those. And I would say why. Um, any here is, is basically um, or, so here any, let's say this one is or, just or operator. Uh, the, the stick, this is the stick, it's or, okay? So any is or, um, all is and. So this, this is very like um, logical, any, any one of them ha has to be true for the for the result to be true, this is or the or relation. Uh, uh, this is or, or uh, this is the any relation. Sorry, um, the all relation, every one of them have to be true, 
and this is represent this represent and um, the and operation or and. Um, so, like you give it multiple. Um, I think we we have. Could I could see it in the book? Uh, you could see it in the book, but um, I would see the examples. But let's say if we have any. You have you could have multiple logical vectors uh, with multiple relation like we like we see we seen here uh, multiple um, let's say yeah multiple logical vectors here uh, yeah we we multiple logical vectors and the the separate sign between them is uh, and so uh, instead of using and as an operator. We use all, uh, and and just pass 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 to it multiple logical vector. And we said, okay, here is here is a condition I have that have to be met. All of them have to be met. So the the first one have to be the, the department time department time have to be bigger than six hundred. The second one, all, all this kind of stuff. Um, but this it, it has to be separated by and because this is all all equal and uh, the same with with all where um uh with um or operator or this is um, this one where is or it's it, this one okay let me write it the all operator is the same as the all operator if all of them or all, all of those uh, uh, logical vectors are separated by or yes. if we get rid of and and it's replace it with or this we call um, uh, the the any any function the usage of any function and instead of passing uh, or using the parameter here we just passing without uh, passing the, the the logical vector without using this uh, or operator, but uh, again, it said it's uh, it's it could be messy when you use the we use them in uh, in your analysis. So uh, that's why he 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 said that you should use the numeric value uh, logical summaries more. And by 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 the meaning of the numerical logical summary, which is um, like the functions that could be aggregated. For example, it could be main, min, minimum, or maximum, or, or or standard deviation, or any type of aggregated function that uh, accept a logical operator as a parameter. And um, uh, like if uh, if we see the, uh, but of course it have to be have some certain conditions. That's why I I really want to show you the, the example in the. Let's see. Where is the book? Um, yeah, that's not now. That's not now. Okay, let's go to this. So here, if we show, if we go to the book, and here, if we go to the logical vector, where is um, the mean? Yeah, the summaries. This is the logical summaries. Here we, as as I said, uh, just of course he he doesn't provide it all here because he could be like provide more multiple uh, logical vectors, but he, he just provided one and said it's an a uh, remove an a true okay, um, and he used it this way, like use the, the group by function and then summarize function to uh, to just like aggregate the values and then uh, like compare between the values using the all and any. Um, but this is not the one. This is the numerical summary of logical vectors. Uh, yeah, the same idea. You group by the flights. Flights have year, uh, months, and day. Just group by year and months and day, and then summarize, which is which means aggregate to uh, with a value with with a variable or a, or a column called prop 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 
proportional, I think, proportional or uh, proportion of delayed uh, flights. And you use the, the, the aggregated function or the, the summary function uh, where, with the logical vector as an input. And I say, uh, I think he, he here uses just sum and mean, but I think it's it could be used by any aggregated function because it have the same structure and it have the same uh, uh, object that they inherit from it. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, and we see here the uh, the output. If uh, if we see the output, this, this is the count, and this is the the proportion of delayed flights. Uh, we are we are quantifying the mean by condition, so we are engaging the conditional or or Boolean algebra or um, logical vectors in how we are calculating means. Uh, could be doing could be done with sum, could be done with me in the, with standard deviation, could be done with any type of aggregated function. So yeah, this is. This is um, so. Did, do you see the? Yeah, you you don't you. I I do. I share all the screen, or you see the just the. Uh, the there are studio. Do you do you see the see see the the book itself? You see the whole art studio. Yeah, it's the art studio uh, we are seeing. Okay, so I you don't see the book. So I I was referencing the book the book. Uh, but I think because I don't share the full screen, uh, you don't, you don't, you didn't see the. Um, let's, you see now the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I was talking about how, yeah. <laughs> oh my, so I was uh, again. So the flight, uh, we are grouping the flight by year and months and day. We summarize, we summarize. Um, uh, like aggregating, okay, we are grouping them, of course, then aggregating them by using summarize function and uh, put the aggregation uh, in, in a variable or a column called proportion delayed, uh, which is to describe the proportion of delayed flights that, uh, and use the mean function here to calculate the average of based on the condition. And the condition is a logical vector. And um, I think, as I said before, this logical vector, uh, this, uh, this, um, this summary, logical summary function could be any aggregated function like uh, uh, minimum or maximum or um, like standard deviation, any type of aggregated function or summary statistics that we want to uh, calculate. Um, yeah, and this, uh, this is, um, this is what I was talking about, but mainly I was, I was just showing you how we could use this kind of function and we already using it, but uh, intuitively not uh, how we know that this is uh, been evaluated as logical vector first, and then it gives it gives a value of it to the mean. Uh, and it, it just it goes into every column that uh, every column that um, um, like satisfy this condition and become true. It become that does that doesn't satisfy the condition become false. And by doing this, we are uh, we are conditioning our uh, our summaries based on uh, based on a, a constraint that we we specify. So yeah, let's uh, let's go back to the our studio. Um, let's see. Well, how I share. Okay. You see our study now? Right? Yeah, yeah. 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 So let's go into the conditional transformation. So this is the final one. Um, I'll be quick because we run out, run out of time. Um, so condition transformation, we could use if else and case when. So those false function are uh, are really uh, you see this type of uh, transformations everywhere where you can where you clean the data um, based on condition. So you, you said that if if the value of something do something uh, or is the value uh, is bigger than something then do something any any type of condition. 
Uh, and those functions are inspired by SQL. I, I, I tend to believe this, this function are, uh, for example, the case when is used uh is using is in sql i said i think if is exists in sql but it's, it doesn't have um it exists in in the flavors of sql like sql server or um any or my sql but it doesn't exist in the normal sql the pure sql the the, the vanilla sql so the vanilla sql have the case when uh and this what i could I, I was using in a daily basis when I was working with SQL. So yeah, it's inspired by SQL. So uh, it's good to know, but uh, mainly the, we use if else when we have just one condition and we want to map it into only two outcomes. So the two outcomes, it could be like, we have a condition here, for example, here, this, um, this, is, this is an example. Uh, giving a combined value of from minus three to three uh like this is the set um and n a so it be it will be it will be it will contain like minus three minus two minus one until three and n a in the end so uh if we use if else to to just have a condition uh, where it it, it recognizes a positive value and a negative value and replace it with um, uh, replace it with the positive and the negative. Um, we set the condition here. It's the condition is the value of x up is, is bigger than zero. Then if if that's true, get it, it's become positive. If false, it become negative and replace this value. And the final one is the replacement of uh, the NA values. So if you find NA values, what you should put in uh, instead of NA, you provide this as the, the, the force parameter. So this is the, the condition is the one, the first, uh, the two condition, uh, the two, the two replacement or, or the output for, for if true else, this if true, and this is the else. Uh, and the first one is uh, the replacement for uh, the NA. The same one, uh, so this is the one, uh, the difference between FL else and case when, case when is uh, used when we want to map multiple conditions to multiple different outcomes. For example, here we said that if X equals zero, to replace it with zero, we, if, if x is uh, less than zero, replace it with negative. If x is uh, bigger than zero, replace it with positive. And at final, we if if x uh, if, um, if if is in a if ha if is in a uh, replace it with if is if x in a, which is mean that is is put in a here. Uh, replace it with uh, this this value, and you see here if we did this, uh, it became the same thing. But we, instead of, uh, of here we, we see the, the zero as a negative, but here we see the zero as we said it's a, it's a, it should be, it's like the zero um, character. So yeah, this is when we use those. Uh, the mapping character is this one. Um, I don't know if, it, if we could use, we use uh, if else with this one, but mainly used uh, uh, the main difference is just uh, one condition we have one condition to satisfy and we want to say if if a condition is true do something if true if, if it's false do something else this is when we use if else if we want to have multiple condition and we want to map it to multiple different outcomes then we use case when this where we have multiple stuff to to check and multiple stuff we can use this eventually when you when we deal with uh, categorical valuables. Uh, when value is something, or, or even if numerical, here is a, is a numerical, and it's it's it could be used to uh, to do this. But also as a as a cleaning sta uh, stage, we could like replace a certain values in a categorical value with other values. So we could use. It became very useful if we if we combine those both 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 of those two, and he said this yeah this 
this is a final note uh, that uh, if else and case when require a compatible types, which means that uh, compatible types is uh, is another story, but it's uh, mainly basically the the main idea is you have to have uh, the the output have to be consistent and have to be compatible with each other. You can't have a zero and a zero character and a zero number. For example, if like I'm talking about the output of the condition. So if you have a zero number and, and zero output, it, it will become, it, it will uh, give an error. Uh, it will not work. So to becoming compatible, you have to, to, uh, to know what is the compatible. I think he, he mentioned, let's go into it uh, very quickly because we're running out of time. Um, let's see. Yeah, I see. I think now you see the the, the book. He said here's the um, the compatible things. Okay, so yeah, so numeric and logical vector are compatible. So any any uh, any uh, true or false and uh, zero or one, like this this. Let's say if it's, it's if this is a number, and if it's true or false, this is a compatible data types. So we can use both as uh, an output of a condition. Uh, if it's string and factors are compatible because of you, you, you think of factors as a string uh, or with a restricted set of values. Uh, date and date times and uh, NA, which is technically a logical vector also, so it's compatible. Uh, and he said that uh, we will talk more about the, the compatible, uh, the compatibility, or uh, or the difference between factors and strings in chapter eighteen and chapters nineteen. So we'll discuss more of them and how what is the meaning of factor uh, by like in the beginning. But yeah, this is this is it. I think I uh, I finished. Does does anyone of you have any question before I wrap it up? Well, I, I think it was fine. I think it was good. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah. So I, I, I'm, I just, um, I'm just uh, like, uh, <laughs> uh, very tired. So if, if I just, if I make mistakes or didn't like, um, explain things well, uh, excuse my, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I use this case when a lot, um, Oh yeah. So it, do you use it like in uh, in analysis or uh, in the report? Yeah. 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 In analysis, I use it a lot. So I like I like the case where. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it, and it's uh, it's also readable, very readable. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. If anyone that doesn't know code, they, they just say, "Okay, case when." It's just case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So I think we are on top of the hour and. Uh, we have already reached to the last part, right? Yeah, yeah, and this is okay. a lot. nice. Um, so what will be the next chapter? Uh so the next chapter will be um numbers. We'll uh, Abdul, numbers. Who, um, and anyone, Abdul, are you up for this chapter? Yeah, I, I think on the shine up seat it's like uh it seems like uh, someone has already uh, signed. I, I don't know whether it's you or one. Oh, okay. I will check. Yeah, on the sign up um, sheet. Uh, Can you check uh, because no, I'm no, not? No, no, no. I'll, I'll check through the chapter if I could. Okay, okay. Just let um, me know if, yeah, let me know if you can take it over. Yeah, hopefully mm -hmm. latest by Wednesday, I will. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. Ahmed, thank you very much. And I uh, will see you, inshallah, next week. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you very much, Ahmed. And uh, I wish you quick recovery. Uh, thanks. thanks, Ahmed. Thank you, thank you. Okay, bye. bye.